Sims here with Everworks Equipment Company. Here to introduce our Canopy 6 keg washing line. We got one of these installed at Frothy Beer Brewery in Charleston, South Carolina. It's our latest install. My station for the operator's use. We've got Siemens basic panel on here. Um, it's got touch screen operation as well as all of these hardened keys for gloves and dirty hands. And the e-stop and shuts down the process anytime. The operator will basically scroll through the cleaning cycles here. Hit start and everything works automatically. So here on the side we have our custom fab 304 tanks. Each of these is custom fabricated with a fill line internal. This is a 40 gallon heated caustic solution tank. A 25 gallon sanitizer solution tank. And a 25 gallon rinse water tank. Each has a nice easy access port for adding all your pre-mixed chemicals as well as a bulk drain and fill tank for your water. This is an Inconel sheath immersion heater which you can hold up to all of your nasty caustic. Here's the utility manifolds here. This is where we bring in our process air and our CO2, both of which need about 10 SCFM, about 90 pounds for the air, about 30 pounds for the CO2. We knock down the air here for all process pipe purging. And down below, we have our solenoid bank manifold. So all of these are 24 volt washdown rated and they control all of our angle seat pneumatic valves. On this side, we have all of our custom fabricated stainless steel 304 tubing and all of our pneumatic angle seat valves. These are air and CO2 for all of our process purge. And then we've got the ones on the rinse water tank, sanitizer tank, our heated caustic tank, and our drain valve here. On the back side, we have our industrial control panel housing the PLC controller. For this machine, we use an industry standard S7-1200 Siemens products. We've got a washdown rated eat and drive, running a washdown rated AMT pump, stainless steel strakes and triple, two horsepower. The process and station, pressure transmitter and the header here, as well as a hard safety relief. We have a run dry sensor here, the liquid presence before the pump runs dry. We have temperature and levels for the caustic to prevent the heater from energizing when the level's low. And we've got an automatic refill mechanism on the buffer water tank. The KW6 will also fill kegs manually. So instead of closing this off, we can actually hook this directly to a, a fermentation or bright tank at the same pressure as your clean kegs. Shut off the pump, give it this butterfly valve. We'll shut off the manual drain and start to crack until you see a two PSI dip and watch through a sight glass as your kegs start to fill. So here on our main operator interface screen, it's all touchscreen capable as well. It's hard keyed. And by this button F2, we can select through different cycles of operation. So manual purge for full kegs you get back. A manual rinse, you can alternate with a manual purge cycle for foam bombs. System CIP, where you can place the keg couplers directly in your caustic solution tank. You do a full system CIP with recycle. A manual fill cycle, where you hook up right to your bright tank and fill kegs right side up. Finally, our keg clean cycle. On our setup screen, you can see we have quick keys for loading six fill and half barrel recipes. And this is all user assigned recipe parameters for each timing cycle. It's all user adjustable. You can save as new recipes up to 100. There's also a double wash option for kegs that you get back that have been sitting out in the back alley for six months.